what I fucking do. We back outside. I got this bucket hat on because I'm trying to stop squinting and the sun is beaming right now. I know it makes my head look big, but that's beside the point. And today, I'm gonna finally get this thing, hopefully to stop clunking. As you can tell by the title of the video, um, we're gonna be replacing the R tabs. I got these from Synchro, Synchro Design Works or Synchro Works Design. They're local to Marietta. If you guys are local to Marietta, Kennesaw, Ackworth, if those places are close to you, this is the ones you should get. There's either Poly, OEM, or the like ball thing. Um, I heard Poly is not the move because it basically doesn't let your R tab do what it's supposed to do. It's like supposed to deflect and kind of move a little bit. But um, yeah, the job doesn't seem that bad. They also provide a tool. So I'm gonna show you guys that now. Um, here it is. Oh, we're also gonna be installing these. These are uh, for my um, rear strut tower. The packaging is absolutely like, it's so dope. Like you can, I just love it when people do like good quality stuff. Provides instruction, you know, he's not just trying to rip your money. Look at those. Absolutely sweet. Super nice quality. Synchro Design Works right there. Um, his bushing looks absolutely beautiful. But um, yeah, let's get the car in the garage. Um, also, Normally I shoot, if anybody knows about shooting, normally I shoot in a super flat picture profile. And I'm just, you know, experimenting with camera settings. So I went back to, you know, no picture profile. And I'm going to see if um, it looks better, if I like that better. But I'm also going to plan on getting a new lens. So stuff is going to get changed. Um, hopefully quality is going to keep, continue growing. So the channel keeps growing. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm trying to not stay stagnant and we're trying to keep growing here. So if you guys are enjoying the videos, don't forget to hit that like, don't forget to hit that subscribe, and uh, yeah, so you don't miss out on any videos. Yeah, I got the car in here. I'm about to get started on this. Um, first step first, anytime you're gonna jack up your car or do anything like that, get up under it. I would disconnect the battery. I'm on live right now on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok, and if you're watching from TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So yeah, disconnected the battery, put a little rag so it doesn't connect to anything, it doesn't, you know, get charged, but yeah, now we're gonna jack up the car. show you guys exactly where um, if you see in here this is where that bushing goes it goes in between here it's kind of hard to see but I've got to bring down all these three and you want to mark this bolt this bolt back here I don't know if you can see this bolt back here and then there's one more back there basically all those bolts because that's what is part of your alignment and then we're gonna end up taking this thing down so that we can put in that little plate All right, so from reading the instructions, um, safely jacked it, you know, that's debatable. Uh, I marked three bolts, three toll adjustments, and then we're gonna just remove the brake line bracket from the trailing arms. All right, so um, this right here is the brake line. You follow it. Let's say loosen this bracket that can hold it onto the rear trailing arm. I go to look, and mine's not even freaking connected. That's kind of bad. Um, I loosened these up and now I'm about to get jacked so that you can support it because that's what the instructions say. I don't see how it's going to come down connected to all this other stuff, but I guess we'll see.
While I wait to see if one of my neighbors has a 19 millimeter wrench, or yeah, wrench, because I don't have one, and it needs to hold the back of the boat for that bushing housing. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put in this little plate. I was messing with this thinking like, oh, it probably won't come out, and it came out. I don't really know if this is uh, supposed to look like, you know, a fucking crunch bar. These washers were sitting in there like this. Uh, sure, I don't know. Is that good? I don't know. Hope you can see the bushing is in there. We're gonna get it out. So, you'll probably run into this problem where you can't get a tool in here. And what I did was I jammed this wrench here. So, um, I ended up getting it to work. I just jammed this in between the top of that bushing and then that strut tower right there. Um, just enough to where I could clear and, you know, get that thing in there. I saw a couple places say that you shouldn't do it with an impact. Yeah, so I'm not going to do it with an impact. Three hours later. It's been absolutely a whole lot of work to get to this point right here. Um, yeah, but it's coming out. You have to absolutely put in the work for this one. Now I believe the bushing is completely out. Let's see. Pull that end out, I guess. I'll grab some of these still wool. All right, so now I'm grabbing some of this multi-purpose grease. You can use any C's. I didn't feel like paying for it. Okay, so I got it set up now with the new bushing um, ready to go in. As you see, the tool is flipped around. This side was here when we we're taking it out. And basically, I think it's going to go in smoother because of the material. It hasn't been sitting in there for 20 years like this one. And, um, yeah. Well, it's coming out pretty well. It's going in that far so far. And there it is. Fully seated. Well guys, I ran into the first problem. This always happens with every job and with a car that has been through a couple hands. Um, this part is the housing for the bushing and when I took it down, it looked a little weird. I know I showed you all the welds and turns out this part is modified. I sent it to the guy that makes these bushings and he said that this is not an OEM part. But basically, he's selling me the OEM part and I'm gonna go pick it up from him. Um, hopefully they didn't modify the actual chassis to fit these and that the OEM ones just go right in because I need to get this car back on the ground. And uh, yeah, so just wanna update. Right up on there. there. So I just got back, this is what I needed. Um, this one is in a whole lot better shape than the one I pulled out. Um, let me actually go show you that. So this is what the previous owner had in the car. A bunch of million like MIG weld, tack weld, whatever you, I don't even know. I don't know about welding. But, and he had a different bolt on there. So we're gonna toss on those other ones. All right guys, so this one actually fits super well. And then you just want to torque that down to 81 foot pounds. I've got everything bolted up in there. Obviously, it's not aligned, and but you can see that thing is glowing in there. But yeah, only did this side today. Absolutely kicked my butt, and uh, didn't even get to put on the low strut tower plate. But 
Um, I'm going to pick it up tomorrow and do the other side tomorrow. Alright, day two, already sweating. Um, now I know how to do everything. Yeah, so I feel like today will go a little bit quicker. So we're doing this side, and then we're going to try to get on those little strut tower things. Depending how I'm feeling, but I think we'll get them on. As you see, there's only one bolt right there. And then those plates are actually going to be a whole lot easier than I thought. You know, I don't think it's oriented to a slip it on over it. Okay. Side is like super hidden in here. Check us out, I fit the car and the jet ski in the garage. So it's been chilling in the garage. Um, unfortunately, the R tabs did not fix the clunking problem, but I do know what it is. Next video, we're actually gonna be solving it. I'm gonna replace Guibo, putting in a new drive shaft. I bought a drive shaft off Facebook. I'm gonna go get it balanced and then we're gonna throw it in the car. And hopefully, we're also gonna do the trans mounts too. Um, hopefully that will fix the issue with the clunking. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, thought it was kind of helpful. Um, it's not really like tutorial style, but if you guys still thought it was cool, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out any type of interaction. Trying to hit 1K before the end of the year. So um, yeah, anything helps. And if you guys want to stick around, don't forget to hit that subscribe. You won't miss out on any videos. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Actually, before I end the video, uh, I don't know why I didn't show you guys this um, earlier. Check out my shoes. Alright, that's it.